Hello again, people! Welcome to yet another edition of Stronghold! Today, we shall be checking out the rat's proposal now that we finished um, Between a Rock and a Hard Place, which turned out to be a massive struggle! <laughs> After the amount of difficulty we had with level 5, I'm definitely wondering if we'll even survive level 6. So, yeah. This may be a two hour struggle or more. This is probably going to go into several parts. And that's probably going to be a pattern for all these until I eventually get stuck with a never ending series of videos on one mission. Well, let's go forward! Onward with victory! Act 2, take your stand, alright. You damned fool! What in God's name did you think you were doing? Well, to be fair, it was I who gave the order to scout further. Yes, 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 but not even you would be stupid enough to authorize an all-out attack on De Poos. Meanwhile, the rat receives news of the loss of his county. I can't believe it! My troops have scattered all over the place! There's nothing I can do! I've lost the county! Show some backbone. My contingency plan is already in motion. You'll have your county back soon enough. Trust me. Later, a dispatch arrives from the rat, stating your newly acquired county has been blockaded. As Woolsack reads the letter, you and Sir Longarm look on like a pair of naughty schoolchildren. Poos is willing to consider a truce once we withdraw our troops from his county. Ah, it's a trap! This youngster's father was killed the same way. We should use our momentum for another strike. No, 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 we don't have the manpower to sustain a full-scale war. You are dismissed, leaving the Lords to discuss the important details of your next mission. Finally, a red-faced Sir Longarm storms out of the room to give you your briefing. Lord Wolsack, in all his wisdom, wishes you to arrange a truce, but I don't like it. I will lend you my finest mason so you can prepare yourself for the worst. Pitch a small camp in an open clearing, then await Duke de Pouce's arrival. Do not bring arms to bear upon him for any reason. To secure our lands, these talks must succeed. Okay, so, quite simple, really. We just need to negotiate with the rat, who uh, we've recently had, you know, pr problems with, and we took one of his counties. And he's freaking out so much that he's willing to negotiate with us as soon as we withdraw from his land. So, because of the fact that we can't really afford to do a whole-scale siege, we must talk to the rat and, you know, negotiate and get some sort of truce. Of course, this being a game of conquest and being an RTS now, I don't really expect this to succeed at all. Probably the worst will occur. You know, I would just, uh, I'm going to trust the insane soldier dude who's yelling at the trap. Because more than likely it is. Let's see how long it takes for this trap to occur. Duke de Pousse wishes to meet us in this valley surrounded by cliffs. It l it's a trap! Sir Longarm was right! Well, that was... That was very quick. That took like two seconds for me to fail. I, I want to quick my men. Okay, so they're just going to get brutally murdered. Thanks a lot. I could do much better against a few guys. This is pathetic. That that was absolutely pathetic, guys. A trap! Our advance party was mown down like animals. Now, I will give you some new orders. Build a large fortification and prepare your troops for Duke de Pousse's arrival. Use the masons I sent with you to quarry stone and build a strong and permanent castle here. All right. So, it sounds like now we're no longer doing 
what we had to deal with the last mission, which was wooden fortifications. Which, as you saw by the course of the previous mission, wooden fortifications don't last long at all. I think it, it lasted like a few seconds or so and was brutally beaten down. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I'm really happy if we can use some stone instead. So, place your keep near the stone to the southwest, and use the quarry there to build up your defense. Start weapon production early. Yeah, we definitely know that one. We're probably going to need to pull off something similar to what we did in the last one, where we're going to need to create, like, the efficient circular-based area for my stockpile. Because, as we saw in the last mission, that strategy worked really well. I, I don't even think I lost many of my archers that final time around. It, it went from me being brutalized to me having quite a massive amount of men. So, it was like I really was kind of guaranteed that win. It, it, it was overbearing still, but I had a large number of men that still survived. Okay, building crenulations on your walls will offer better protection for your archers and make them harder to smash through. Protection for my archers, I like it. I like it a lot, because after all, the last mission was uh, quite a pain with that, you know, getting easily sniped off the walls. Uh, I'm not really sure we had much protection at all. I think, if anything, we were easier targets standing on the wall so the archers could easily reach us. And as for hard to smash through, yeah, because even the gatehouse would take like a few seconds and we'd end up on the ground. So anything to make them harder. So, new stuff today. We have a quarry. This structure allows you to produce stone, which is required in the construction of your fortifications. You can place a quarry where you see a group of light gray boulders. It takes a bit of time to kind of get used to the right looking stone for it. It's like has to be a specific looking style stones. But I'm kind of accustomed to where to place it because of frustrations of dealing with it when I was younger. <laughs> Once the three quarry workers needed have arrived, they will begin exacting and carving rock into usable stone blocks, which they place at their local stone pile. Should their stone pile become full, Work will cease until space is available. To use the stone for building, you need to transport the stone into to the castle stockpile. To do this, you will need to build ox tethers. Which ox tethers? Oxen are used to carry large quantities of carved stone from your quarries to your stockpile. The more you have, the quicker you'll be able to build those all important fortifications. Once the ox handler has arrived, he will start loading stone onto his animal. When a beast is laden with eight blocks, the handler will lead, lead him to the castle to deliver the stone. Unless, of course, the stockpile is full, in which case you'll wait until storage space becomes available. So, yeah, now we'll have the problem of needing to have ox tethers as well. Basically carrying back and forth stone from our quarry. Um, and more ox tethers is better because faster transportation of stone, which stone is needed very fast for a defense set. We also have gatehouses now, which basically are stone gatehouses, you know, instead of the wooden ones we had before. Gatehouses are the main routes of your castle and are, are seen by the opposition as soft targets, so must be guarded well. It's always a good idea to have several men sta stationed on top of one of the, uh, these. Building walls with stairs connected to the sides of a gatehouse gives access to the top. Selecting your main gate will bring up the gate panel, allowing you to close in times of war and open in more peaceful times. The gate will close automatically should the, should the enemy approach it, although you can always override this manually. So basically, the gatehouse is the same as what we've had before for the wind one, except now it's made out of stone, which is the big thing at this level, is the creation of stone and the fortifications of our walls. As you can see by these pictures, we even have stone walls now. So, that's another big difference, is the addition of stone walls. And we can also build crenellated walls on top of those stone walls. Crenellated walls are selected from the castle buildings uh, category. They can be added to the front of your standard walls to give additional protection, 
like a second layer. When creating layer walls are selected, move your uh, mouse pointer adjacent to adjacent wall, then press and hold the left mouse button and slowly drag the mouse to a place when the mouse button is released. When dragging to create walls, if any piece of wall is not in a valid building location, the whole wall will turn red. So yeah, basically just a second layer, which is more helpful, of course. So if we can, we want to crenulate all our walls. But that's like more refinement. Place a keep to sight your castle, my liege. So all this is like the trap area. This is where they're going to come from, and this is where the stone is. All right. I really need to... How do you delete these? I'm not sure if there's a way to delete them. I might actually have to go in afterwards, get into like my save files and delete them all. I'll do that afterwards. Can I click my date? That helps. Alright, so that way I can name anything. Wampum. I don't know why. I want to name Save Wampum. The most random name in the world. And now we can use the stone keep. As we're starting to base ourselves in stone fortifications. And, um, where do I want to place this? Because if I place it here, it'll be pretty visible. And if I place it over here... Oh, they're going to come from two locations. I see. That ain't pretty at all. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But yeah, let's try and place this, like, right here. Granary, sire. This is probably going to take a few times to get used to it. But as you see, now we have all the stone stuff. In fact, we can't even build regular walls. So, yeah. Probably going to need to build a second stockpile, aren't we? Okay, first thing first, we need to build our woodcutters. Oh, we got all three of our food supplies. So basically, they're going to allow us to build whatever type of food we want. I like that freedom. Compared to the previous time where we couldn't get freedom. Can't place that there, my lord. Yeah, it's all too close to the signpost. We're very limited where we can actually build, though. And there's not much wood we can actually get to because of that. Like, we can't build up here. So it's like, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going about this. I'll build two woodcutters over here so we can... Oh my god, there's bears! There's bears! Um, guys, there's bears! Panic? I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Also, I need a stone barracks now instead of a regular barracks. Not really sure what the difference is, but the fact that now it's going to cost more. And there's a freaking bear chase after my man! Help! Oh god, there's a bear chase after my people. Um, let's see if we can get like a... We need to get production underway anyway. So it's like, we'll get this here. We await orders! Get my first eight Instructions! Archers. Chase after these Moving bears! God's oh. target him, sir! Chase after that bear! We're on our way! Get that stupid bear! Leaving now! We await orders. Moving off. We're not going to get much wood if these bears keep mauling people. Arrows ready. So we'll get these bears down. Notch arrows. Okay, Can't get great. there, Lord. We are on our way. All my archers up on top of this, and um, we're going to need to build some fletchers. We're going to need food, of course. Um, there's not much deer. Well, there actually is. But if I can, I want to really just start with a wee farm. Um, this, this is where I'm going to do Wampa Saving! Too, because I'm not really sure how this is all going to work. But I want a wheat farm if I can. Wheat farm. That way I can get my wheat. Um, let's get uh, a mill right next to it. Alright, we're going to need to probably get like a No second. change in the treasury, Lord. And then, of course, we're going to need, like, the four bakers. Two... Three... Four. Sadly, I can't really get rid of the stockpile because all the stone needed. Stone is a valuable resource. I don't want to get rid of it that quick. I'm going to put it right here. Really, we could just fill this entire land with stockpiles. It's all free. But here's Wood where needed. we have to quarry. That's going to give us our food production. Um, what else? We need a hovel. 
Because I don't like having just one person. Hurry, we have 20 people. The stone keep must bring more people. No change in the treasury, Lord. We have to wait for that before Our we food can... stocks are dwindling, my liege. Get good rations going. Okay. We really need those, that woodcutter stuff. That, and we need to start building Fletchers. Fletchers are going to require taxes, which are going to require... Well, taxes. <laughs> and taxes are going to Saving. require food. So we're going to need the food makers. So the woodcutters need to come here so we can start building some of the Fletchers. Just that way they're actually created. As for stone production... Actually, let's start on stone production early because I can imagine that's going to be a big thing too. And if it's as bad as last time, I don't want to be murdered by siege engines. They didn't have such a long distance to walk. You know... You know, that wouldn't work too well because of the simple fact that they have to walk a long distance anyway. It's just a very inefficient map, really. Because of the quarry. That's the stone area. Have like an ox in here. Big Jim. That's a name. And we'll see how this works. Because I'm not exactly sure how all this is going to work anyway. Saving! That way we can start getting stone. That steady stone stockpile will be needed. Okay. Next time we get some wood, we'll start building Fletcher's workshops. Now that we're actually getting stone production. I'm not too sure if we need more than one Otsen right now. It's not that far of a distance. But we'll see. I'm kind of waiting for uh, more wood production, so right now it's not like I have much. We're starting to get some bread, which is good because Our we're starting right now food. Our food dwindling, my liege. We need these bakers. Go, go, break bakers. Start making some bread. Granary stocks are very low, sire. I know. We had to get the barracks in order to create the bears, and that meant wood production. Come on, let's see here. Can we get stuff going? Our people are probably going to not like me. We are almost out of food, sire. Once food production starts getting underway, I'll be happy. It's just the fact of the matter that it takes a bit to get started. I'm almost ready to start on my Fletcher production anyway. Oh, my, my people are starving. The people love you, my lord. The people love me, sure they do. It's gonna go down fast. Get that bread. That's one of my butchers, so we can start archer production because I need archers. I need them fast. Yeah, they have to go to the far side of the granary. I'm not sure if this was a good idea. Granary stocks are very low, sire. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. Once you actually get some bread going constant, it'll be nice. It's just a fact I'm out again up to that point. The people hold you in great esteem, my lord. Yeah, we need a uh, popularity going up somewhat. I also probably get like a hunter or so just for the extra food. But really, all that's going to be later. This is an extra popularity bonus. Granary stocks are very low, sire. I know. We're trying to get things underway. Let's see here. We're getting some food. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? Saving! Well, I want stone production, because stone production is going to get me my walls and my gate. My 
The gate will kind of be over here. But mostly it's like... And I'll probably put like another gatehouse up here because I don't have like the platforms anymore at the time being. They're probably going to give me like stone platforms later. Also stairs need to get on top of the walls. That's an efficient direction to be going. Um, does it really matter, or is it just like rotate both ways? I hope it's both ways. Yeah, I think it's both ways, so it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's facing the general direction that you want it. Yeah, I still need to get my popularity somewhat up. Let's see here, I need to get my wall built this way. That way it's away from the signpost and I can just make it. I'm actually not sure that will be safe. Cancel, cancel. There we are. Right quick cancels. Um, let's see here. I want to like block these off. Just get rid of any leaks in the wall here. Okay, I think that's good. And we can start building this way. Pops is starting to carry. That way now, we have a pretty good wall going. Yes. We actually send these archers to the... Leaving? No! Actually, we have no stone off. staircase yet. Let's get a staircase. Archers, there ready. we are. We now are on our way. Sorry, we actually have a way to get up. No change in the treasury, Lord. Food stops, stops no change to go in up. the treasury, Lord. These taxes are on your stocks are dwindling, my liege. The people love you, my lord. No change in the treasury, lord. The people going. love you, my lord. My boy is yours. Now we have my archers going. We have plenty of food coming in. Now we now taxes. We await orders, my lord. Leaving now. Are we now with some stone coming in? I'll try and get some more stuff going. Saving, such as crenulated walls and all that. But really, the first step is that's already coming to the wall here. So now it's just a matter of getting on the other side. Really, one option seems to be enough. Really, it'll be nice to soon. I'll probably try and get like more types of food. We await orders. Needed, sire. Instructions. Moving off. Okay, let's get another house. Yes, I think I can actually afford another. We'll see. We await orders. We await orders. We are on our way. We've seen from before how saving. We might need to create like a weird, complicated setup like we did last time. Not sure how this is gonna go. A message from the rat. Oh, about to retreat, are we? Well, it's no use groveling now. Not really groveling, dude. How do I like, can I, like rotate this way? So we can block off fully. That like as far as it goes? I hope so. Let's think if I, I can't really like block off the entire thing or something because for some reason. I think that's going to prevent them from getting in this way. Anyway, this means Saving. probably soldiers can be coming soon. Um 
really we got our stone production good, at least for the basics. Not to become cranially walls, but like there ain't too much really I need to do on walls. Besides yeah, more we defense. await orders! Yes? Leaving now! Archers! Archers Wreck going. the rats' troops are attacking! Okay, okay, let's see here. How bad is it? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? It's getting worse. My boy is yours. Can't target him, guys. sir. Can't target him, sir. Oh, great. The granary stocks are very low, sire. Can't target him, sir. Come on. Moving off. Can't target him, sir. Can't target him, sir. Can't target Finding anybody. targets. There goes the gate. Granary stocks are very low, sire. The spearmen are going all the way over here. I don't even care about them right now. This is just now. The archers are already kind of picking up the ladder men. Haha! -ha. We have survived the enemy's onslaught. Well, that was a pathetic onslaught, quite honestly. Well, at least the first one was pretty weak. We await Weapons orders, needed, Lord. Sire. Okay, good news. Instructions. We await orders. Yes. Um, Archers, Archer? ready. We are on our way. We can actually afford some more Fletchers, which is always good. Just we need more, more Fletchers. The more Fletchers, the better. This weapon production is a thing that's big. We'll do two more Fletchers already. Saving. Okay. Get stuff going. But that was a pretty good siege that we survived against. So I'm happy for that. Your popularity is falling. Oh, what's this? Okay, maybe we should set it back a bit. Extra rations! Get some food in there. Normal rations. Our treasury is emptying. So let's see. Granary yeah, stocks are very low, sire. I'm going to try and be stationary for a second if I want to get a dairy farm going. For the extra food. Because more food types is good. So I'll get one dairy farm going just because of the fact that it'll be right here. Allow for some cheese. Our granary stock outlying villages have seen a battle. Oh no, of really? Troops heading this way. We just My finished. boy is yours. Me lord? Instructions? Leaving now! They aren't gonna be real for, are they? Okay, let's try running it this way as far as we can. We don't really have much more b things that we need. We await orders! Moving off! So we like, now just a nice crinoly wall so that way if we need to start running Saving. down the wall here, we can. Plus, it's more defense to siege engines. We await that. orders. Yes. We are on our way. Granary stocks are very low, sire. I know, I know. We're trying to get food up. Constant struggle. The rats troops are attacking. Okay. Saving. Another attack. Archers now, ready. One thing I am curious about is these. All this. Like, I know this, but we it's the worst gone. button to ever do because that disbands them. Loading. You don't want to press that My button. My boy is yours. This will us up to patrol a certain Leaving area. Even no. Not that I really care Moving about that. Moving off. We are on our way. Let me get them 
weapons. Loading! Me lord? Um, this allows them to attack a certain position even though Arrows there's no away. reason. Arrows away! Like here. Can you like use that to attack all the way over here? No, not really. But it allows some further distance to be full off. So even if they can't see the people. Loading! Instructions! But one thing that I believe, I'm curious about these stances. Now, I was very curious about it and was looking around on the help screen area. And one thing I did find was unit stances. Stand ground. Um, they will not move from their post unless ordered to do otherwise. They'll defend themselves if attacked and their, their missile unit will fire when enemy units come into range. Defensive will move a short distance to engage. Once there are no more enemies, they'll return to the original position. And aggressive, they'll go a long way just to do it. And they'll look for another potential target before going back. So honestly, I really we want to see what, what happens if I go to, like, aggressive. You know, just because aggressive... Well, yes. actually, let's start with stand ground, and then we'll see what happens to aggressive. Because what I actually did was I... I'm going to pause it for a second to speak. But what actually happened was I said to aggressive last time, um, not on screen, I actually replayed the last video, last um, level that I did, right before the siege, I basically saw what would happen if I did it with a certain method. I actually, no, I didn't actually use the one that succeeded. I used one of the ones that actually failed, that I got de devastated on. And I just changed my archers from stand ground, which is what they're currently on, to aggressive, and suddenly they went into like overdrive mode and were dominating the field. It was suddenly like a massive onslaught where even though, you know, they were massively outmanned, they were able to survive and defeat everything. So I wonder if actually I've been handicapping myself the entire time by playing on the other mode. So I'm going to see what happens playing on stand ground. If that doesn't work, I'm going to switch to aggressive to see the difference. Because it might be a benefit. We await Weapons orders! Needed, Archers ready! Leaving anyway, now! Anyway, the thing. A little money, my lead. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. Granary stocks going. are very low, sire. Just that we use the benefit of that. My boy is yours. Arches everywhere, man. I'm not liking. Come on, arches. I believe in you. This is a full-scale siege now. We are almost out of food, Sire. My god, this is a massive siege. This is a lot more like an actual mi uh, medieval siege compared to what we had before. Okay, ladder men are good. Lord? Come on, guys. Take steady aim! Take care of those siege engines. We need to take them out. I don't know how you take these things out, honestly. Like, how do you get rid of the siege engines? That's what I don't get. Arrows ready! Notch arrows! I don't know targets. if the idea is that you take care of everything else and you'll go away. Ready. The enemy are Seems that's the case. Whatever the case. We have to replace some of these walls. We await orders. Instructions. And Move also... Them off. As you see, they also rushed over here and destroyed the woodcutters. Way. So what's actually going to need to happen... 
is I'm going to need to basically have two sources of battle area. So Outlying gonna... villagers have oh, seen a band on. of the rats' troops heading this Are way. We await orders. Leaving now. Come on, come on. I gotta get rid of all these walls. Because all these are weak right now. And I can easily replace that. At least get it as good as it was before. Too close to signpost on the side. Oh, that's a weakness. That's not helpful at all. So at least I can guard this one. I'll build it up a bit more here. Saving. Still, so build some more Fletchers. I like to have sets. We await orders. The rats' troops are attacking. They're being more constant this time around. Saving. I'm surprised that my archers have done as well as they have, though. Watch as this time the gate house goes down. Because I think it's actually pretty worn. There we are, actually, at, that allows for instant repair. Nice. Archers! I like ready. that. Okay, so. That's last time, they were all down there, so I can't really take them out. It's really a nasty trick. Stop me from really taking them out as easily as I could. Can't target him, sir. I tried. Hey guys, start taking them out. Let's see what happens. People are leaving the castle. Our gold stocks grow steadily, sire. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. Let's go back to normal rations. Normal rations. Let's get that slowly boost up popularity. There are so many people. We only need to start getting on Nomis. Enemy has breached the walls. The good news is the fact that it lasts a lot longer. Loading! Let's try this again. Let's say. My boy is yours! Is this the same as that? I don't think so. Me lord? It looks still warm. More than off! We are it on our way! Me. But I say this. Doesn't look like a new Stone one. Stone stocks are too low, side. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just my mentality. It just looks off to me. Let me reload when they were all on the wall. Loading! Now they get all the friendly walls over there. Oh wait, I forgot to repair. Oh no! Well, actually, one thing that is nice is the fact that with this, I can repair it even during battle. I think. We await orders. We await orders. Leaving now. The granary is. Our gold stocks grow steadily, sire. Need to get food. I don't know what's going on with food stockpiles and why it's so bad. Come on, Archers, you can do it. This is why I have a secondary Archer support down here. because you can easily get cut off. Oh, 
luckily the main seat is actually over here, as usual. So having the guards all over here helps a lot. Tesla's held firm, but the fact is, I don't have much of a popularity right now. Come on, guys. Old Our Bessie granary is stocks are growing, sire. Strange lord. So are most of the other cows. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is add a fifth bakery, maybe. What I can actually do is add like a not enough workers available to run this building. I think when they come in, they'll actually be able to replace all the stuff. Recruits needed, sire. We need to get our granary stocks up are somewhat. growing, sire. A message from the rat. Aha! I, the mighty Depuce, your nemesis will soon triumph over your so-called army. My Scouts nemesis? report a large force of the rat's men are marching towards us. My nemesis? Yes. Can't get there, Lord. I am your nemesis. Archers, Can't get there, Lord. Ready. Uh, repair this one. Gonna wait the wall here. Stone wall here. People are coming to the castle. Good. Stone needed. My boy is yours. Moving off. I just really need to hope that <laughs> the supplies I had before were good enough. We are with the rats. Troops are attacking. We are on our way. Let's get some nice aggression Instructions. going. Instructions! Saving! Let's see how this hat works. Our food stocks are, are dwindling. A little my liege. money, my liege. I'm really not uh, you know, thinking it's going to actually... We await orders! Arrows away! Now yeah, they'll start focusing on whatever again. Well, my hunch is pretty useless. Like, pretty much everyone's useless right now. I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle this final stage. So far, it looks like I'm surviving better than I did in the last mission. That's the good news. Not arrows. Find the spearmen coming this way. Take steady aim. The enemy has reached arrows. The wall. Ready. Recruits needed, sire. Yes. Leaving now. I trust you, man. Move. Moving off. We are on our way. Finding targets. Are inside the Lord of Take steady aim. No change in the treasury. So close, but Loading. so far. Archers, ready! 
trying an aggressive stance on that. So you see, I actually made it say you can shoot a little My better. bow is yours! Heck here. Arrows away! Okay, let's see how this works. This stance to change this things up. We await orders, my lord. Leave him now. We're getting archer in here already. Inscriptions. The enemy has breached the wall. Moving off. We await orders. Yes? We are on our way! The lesson here is the fact that... Leaving arrows! Now! No. Ready! I really need to be ready with... That Moving ...that breach of the walls. Have like a second guard here. Loading! Or something. Archers! Ready! We are on our way! Let's get the archers over here. Recruits needed, sire. We await orders! My boy is yours! Really, this is all I can do because of this lack of popularity thing. This really messed me up, the popularity. Me lord? Let's start shooting at everyone. Now! Moving off! We are on our way! Keep here because that way... Oh, they have a bit of a distraction. Let's try to take them out from here. Has reached the walls. Yes, the pity is we now have a focal point that they're coming at. Notch arrows! Take him out. their way down to the siege on it's like we only got like a few more people to go we might win this it looks like we got a chance okay who's left who's left who the who's left saving okay now we gotta find out oh here we are these might be it Survive the enemy's onslaught. Ha ha! I think that was the final attack. Yep! We won the battle! Go us! We survived it a lot better than the previous mission. Using some of the strategies from before, plus the fact that using that stance thing seems to help.
So, go us. Now with stone walls and quarry and all that, even though we got massively unpopular, yeah. Whoopsie about getting the unpopular part. That was a mistake on my part. Wasn't paying attention to everything. Too much to micromanage at once because of the constant attack. A message from the rat. Oh, bother it and 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 oh oh I lost the game. Victory! Yay, look at that! Only 25% of troops lost in the entire this whole thing. Even though it was a lot worse than the siege, really. We even had a lot- every attack of that had a lot of catapults and whatnot and everything. Um, a big uh, trick to this level, the reason why we did better was because with stone walls, that definitely helped in terms of not getting knocked down in the first few seconds of a gatehouse. We actually were able to stand on our gates and uh, guard them for a little bit of time. The formation trick that I kind of learned last time, it seems to really help and take you down a lot of archers and whatnot quick, which is a great way to stop a lot of them from coming. And then just move our formation back and attack again. Um, And, it, it, you know, was, uh, the biggest uh, mistake of this level had to be the fact that I ended up running out of food. I, I, I I'm assuming it was because either A, the population was too big. I don't really think so. I think really what happened was the fact of the matter that the bakers were too far from the rest of the structures. I kind of didn't think ahead in advance that way. And so the beakers ended up having to go a long distance to get the food. And really, if anything, the bakers need to be the closest. The other two can actually afford to be a bit farther away. Because after that initial transportation run, they have all the time that the bakers are baking to begin another run. And it, it, we didn't have any problems with the index or mills or anything. It was just the fact that it mattered that it wasn't really as well managed as it could have been. But regardless of that, we still had enough troops to take down the rat. Which means we won regardless of our lack of popularity at the end. So... Another close call like the earlier levels that still managed to mostly be successful. Like I said, it, it, really, we didn't have the struggle we had of the last level. Anyway, is it going to just go to the next level or what? It's, it's happened again. It, it's unbelievable. I'm running out of counties and they'll be coming for me next. I'm doomed. Um, I think I will ride back now for reinforcements. Oh, ride back? Uh, yeah. uh, wouldn't it be easier to send a message? Really, there's no need to worry. I'll be back before you know it. So long, my trusted friend. So long. So, you know we're doing good when we basically managed to terrify the rat enough so that way he's being defeated because his whole betrayal ended up costing him another county. And the snake is actually even starting to worry as he's starting to realize that we might be a formidable foe. Now he's riding back to basically try and <laughs> prepare for us before we may, uh, reach his lands. So, if you notice, we have taken another one of the rat's counties instead of basically getting, giving him his, like, originally planned. Anyway, I'm assuming the next level is going to be after I press the arrow, so we'll stop for today. Yep. Do, 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 do. Stop for the time being. And next time, we will be checking out Breaking the Siege. But for today, we've managed to handle... The rat's proposal, which turned out to be a lot simpler than I thought for some reason. I don't know why, but I really say between a rock and a hard place has been the hardest level so far. Which makes no sense because the rat's proposal had a lot more catapults and whatnot, but the simple fact that I could use stone walls instead of wooden walls really helped in the long term, if you notice. It, 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 you know, it, it was a pain in the butt to finance and build. But once it's built, it can handle a lot more than the instantaneous nature of destruction of stone.
Also, another thing, our castle is definitely looking a lot more like a castle now, with stone walls, gatehouses that are nice, uh, you know, and built. We're actually looking like a nice medieval village now, instead of like a little town or whatnot. We're getting more prepared for a full-scale siege. Anyway, I've talked enough for today. I shall see you all next time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Until then, may your strongholds hold strong.